talk about uh, let's talk about the TNA pay per view. Sucked. <laughs> really? I thought it was fine, except for yeah. the main event finish. It was by the standards of TNA shows. It was pretty average. The only thing I really hated was the women's four way. So it couldn't have sucked that bad. Yeah, but uh, the finish sucked. Yeah. You finish. do know what they did today, don't you? I, I'm aware there was a development in the story. There was a development. And you know, it's funny. Everybody, spoiler alert, not that anybody really cares about TNA spoilers, mm-hmm. but there are people on our board that are expecting me to rant and rave about the fact that they made James Storm the champion. Why in God's name would I rant and rave about that? I'm the biggest James Storm fan around. And, listen, Bobby Roode should have got the title on Sunday. They built it up for so long that a lot of people bought that show because they were expecting to see Bobby Roode elevated to championship status in WWE. Or TNA. Or whatever. I got a lot of letters. There were a lot of very, very unhappy people that they paid their money and the title did not change hands. And it did make Bobby Roode look like a dork. Which, like I said Sunday, if Bobby Roode is not the guy... If you're like Hulk Hogan and you believe this guy is not the guy, fine. Put the title on him. In two months, James Storm beats him. Mm -hmm. So at least he's not the guy, but you know what? When the chips were down, he didn't fail. Because baby faces don't fail when the chips are down. Or they're dorks. So I would have put the title on him. With that said, if you're not going to put the title on Bobby Roode on Sunday, this was the best possible thing you could do. And yes, for those of you wondering, they are directly ripping off ROH and the Eddie Edwards-Davy Richards feud that started a uh, final battle. Where everybody expected Davy to win the title, he didn't. And then Eddie won the title, and then they had the deal with a tag team, and that built up to Davy beating Eddie. That's well, exactly what they're well, doing. Well, that was great. Sure. So that's what they're trying to do here. And, uh, you know, in the hands of, of uh, Cornette and Delirious, I'm sure this would be great. In the hands of Pritchard and Russo, I'm not sure. But... You should be able to do this right if you have any sort of clue whatsoever. So, like I said, I'd have put the title on him Sunday, but if you're not going to, this was the absolute best possible thing you could have done. So we just have to see where they go with it. But, boy, were people pissed off. The letters I got on Sunday night from fans. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. I was more just gobsmacked than anything. Like, uh, I just thought, really, you're that dumb. You built this up for so long, and then... But it wasn't even... You know, to be honest, I can't say it wasn't TNA's fault, because uh, it was a Hulk Hogan call, but they could have overruled him. But they didn't. Because, see, it's Hulk Hogan. I don't care whose fault it was. It's Hulk Hogan, and so... I don't give a shit whose fault it was. Presumption is he knows what he's doing. The result is that it sucked. Well, sure. So there you go. I'm just saying, you know... And that was the best match in the show. What?! I thought the uh, Austin Aries match was much better. Well, that was actually good, too. But, uh, yes, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't got much else to say about this except uh, Hulk Hogan, immobile and virtually crippled, is still fantastic at being Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. Even though his face turn made absolutely no sense. Nah, I didn't mind it. Sting beat him up. Or, excuse me, Sting beat him in a match. His friends beat up Sting, and then he decided to help Sting. <laughs> well. Losing a match made him have a change of consciousness? Sure. The right word. Change of morality? He had a change in consciousness, yes. He became unconscious. <laughs> okay. That was not the right word. But yeah. Uh, there was a... Women's four was a mess. You know what? It didn't make Who sense. Cares? I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm done. It didn't make sense, but let me tell you something. I would have probably hated it with any other people in the entire world. But Joker Sting on his knees going, Please help me, Hulk. Just like... It's like, I don't know. It's so wacky. Well, And then, for some reason, and again, in this case, I don't care why, Hulk Hogan looks to the right, (laughs) Hulk Hogan looks to the left, Yes, and everybody starts to cheer. He is still the absolute best in the world of being Hulk Hogan. And you want to know what? In a way, it makes sense. Sting asked for his help, and Hogan looked left, and Hogan looked right, and the Hulkamaniac started to go nuts. And the Hulkster remembered what it was like to be Hulk Hogan, the real American hero. 
And he looked left and right again, and they started going even more crazy. And then he started shaking his fists, and they were starting to get on their feet and stomp up and down. And then it was just he couldn't take it anymore. He had to be the old Hulkster again. And he ripped off the shirt, and they went nuts, and he made his big comeback. Hot damn! It was great. It, it was the best part of the show. It was great. You know, if it's his last match, it's what the it's what the heel does at the end. You know, in every story. It, at the end of the day, for the heel, he sees the light and he makes the big comeback. It's just like Darth Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi. You know, he's he's done for, but God damn it, he's going to save his son before the end. And spoiler. That's- that's what Hulk Hogan. <laughs> spoiler alert! That's for those of you that haven't watched the Blu-ray. That's what Hulk Hogan did here. And like I said, anybody else, it didn't make a lot of sense. But you know what? Hulk is so great at being Hulk, and he pulled that off so perfectly. And the people wanted to see it so bad. And it, like I said, you know, hopefully it is his last match. So this was his last chance. So I was fine with it. Vinny, you got to think about what we expected with that match. That is true. I expected worse than we got. That is certainly true. I expected it to be the worst match on the show, and I knew the women were having a four-way. I didn't think that he could do anything. Yeah. And quite frankly, he couldn't. He but t- he did he, nothing he very well. He three bumps. He did nothing very well. When the show began, Chris Rising was over here. He asked us, do you think Hogan will, Hulk Hogan will take a bump tonight? I scoffed. Scoffed! Well, I did too, because I didn't think he'd be that stupid. <laughs> he took three bumps. But you know what? Hope I, he's okay. I, I, I even hate to say this because I know some people are going to interpret it badly, and I don't really mean it like this, but I did think when I was watching Hogan, Hogan sometimes gets in his mood where he wants to bury all the young guys today, and and he starts talking about how these young guys just don't know how it's done. And when I watched Hulk Hogan out there, being unable to do a goddamn thing, and when he did his Hulk Hogan thing at the end, that got the biggest pop of the night. And there were people on our board asking, was that the biggest pop in the history of TNA? <laughs> That's saying something, everybody. That guy knows how to get everything out of nothing. Yes. And very few people know how to do that. Now, does that mean Hulk Hogan should be on top? No. Fuck no. He got to try to push Bobby Roode and all these young guys. But he does have a point that it is true the young guys today could learn something from Hulk Hogan and how to get more out of less. Because boy, did he ever on Sunday night. Never have you seen a man get more out of less. So I thought that whole thing was great. But I don't need to see him wrestle again. And the main event finish was stupid. And uh, goddamn if that wasn't ever the worst women's match in a long time. That match sucked. What did you rate that match? I I, I believe I I actually closed my notes. Usually after I watch a show and you say let's not talk about it, I get upset because I figure I have wasted time watching it then. Today I do not care. I don't want to. Want, I don't want to talk about any of this. TNA pay per view open. Do you really want to talk about SmackDown? No, I don't want to talk about any. I don't want to talk about any of these shows we watched. They all sucked. I had the women's three way at minus three stars. <laughs> wow, I only had minus two. I will just read. I, I I've forgotten everything about it already. I will simply read what my notes say. It was Winter versus Velvet Sky versus Mickey James versus Madison Rain for those of you who give a shit. And I should add, it came after a horrible segment with Eric Bischoff and, and Jackson James, which uh, put me in a foul mood anyway. So, Taz says Velvet gets the crowd, quote, aroused. <laughs> Madison uses an object the announcers I... cannot identify. A napkin or something. Winter breaks up a Madison pin. Heels bicker. Karen, Karen orders them both to tag out. Karen refuses to count their pins, so why are they even wrestling? Now all four women are in the ring. What a pile of bullshit this is. This is getting beyond zero reaction. It takes about six years, capital letters, to spit blood into Karen's face. Mickey with a DDT, no ref. Tracy arrives. Quote, and I have no idea who I'm quoting. What the hell is going on here? Indeed. Velva hits a wacky X factor. Tracy counts the pin and Velva wins the belt. All capital letters. Do not cry, you. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. And by the way, I was sober when I wrote this. Oh, my. The, 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 this this is the thoughts I have watching TNA. The, the, the... Vinny, someday, someday when you have children. Oh, interesting. What? <laughs> I was waiting for you to say I'm never going to have children, and you didn't. Oh, no, I, I, I was going to let you finish your thought. Uh-huh. I do not plan on having children, but You go will ahead. someday. Someday, 
Your children are going to go on Wikipedia. They're going to find out you were a wrestler. Actually, I think your Wikipedia was disabled. They'll go online and find out that you were a wrestler. And they're going to say, Daddy, show us one of your matches. And you're going to be able to bust out Brian and Vinny, the Battle of the Empire on DVD. And you're going to be able to show them the match where you won the YWF heavyweight title. Beating me clean in the middle with a reversal of a figure four leg lock. And you will not be completely embarrassed. Especially after the part where you throw me to the kiddie pool. Imagine Velvet Sky someday when her kids go, Mommy, we saw on your Wikipedia that you once won the TNA Divas Championship. Can we watch that match? Imagine what she's going to have to show those little buggers. That bullshit that we watched on Sunday. That's a sad thing. That's why she didn't cry. She should have (laughs) cried. It's, uh, I don't know if it's better or worse, but, uh, Bret Hart's first world title win over Ric Flair was apparently so bad they had never put it on any DVD or anything. I don't know if that's actually true. I, I think Bret. I think Bret himself has said this. Really? Because I've seen that match and it was not horrible. Hmm. It was not great. I, th- I think I do recall Bret really hated that match, but it was not a horrible match. It was a. Uh, it was a fine match. It was better than this. That's true. 